you guys going to do a little video here on a pretty common problem with these Linux boards that have the new demand defrost style board uh, this is the board that we're talking about not the older time and temperature you're looking for this little Molex plug right here with the thermistors on it you've got the coil and the ambient right here in this Molex plug and then you have this little dip switch array right up here when you've got 50, 70, 90, and 100, and those are temperatures. And for some reason, Linux believes that 50 degrees is enough to thaw out this coil. So they come factory set like that. You have two bare pins exposed on the top, and of course, those are your test pins. So it is factory set at 50 minutes, and that is not enough time to thaw out these coils. What will happen is, it will go ahead and terminate defrost when it senses 50 degrees in there on the coil and it leaves large bands of frost down the coil. So you go right back into heat mode and start running, but you've already got frost accumulated. So it's not gonna take long and the frost is gonna start turning to ice because the coal never really fully gets thawed out. And this is the model number on this unit right here. It's a 14 HPX, but this is something that you just want to pay attention to. Uh, whenever I come across one of these units, I don't care what I'm doing. If I'm just changing the capacitor or checking the charge, I always look at that pin, and if it's not moved down to 70, then you want to go ahead and move it, and inevitably, you will get some service calls on these this year, and more than likely, it will be newer units that were just installed back this past summer. and you know the install guys did not move that pin down and it is not going to thaw out properly and the fix for it is tremendously hard you just reach in here and you literally just move the pin down one notch so now you've got three bare pins exposed now you're on 70 and that's all you need you don't need to go to 90 because Linux has been using 70 degrees as a termination temperature ever since they started making heat pumps so I don't know why all of a sudden they decided that 50 is good enough on this newer demand defrost because if you take one of their old time temperature sensors that had the two brown wires coming off of it and you look at the side of that thing it gives you 70 degrees as the opening point for that sensor and that's just how it's always been so why in the world they factory set those at 50 I don't know but if they don't get switched when they're installed it is going to create a problem the very first winter so if you come across that that's going to solve the whole entire problem right there more than likely is just bumping that down to 70 and if you test your defrost you take that jumper off and you test the defrost it initiates a cycle that means that your board is okay and you just want to make sure that you go ahead and set it back to the fourth and fifth pins down not the third and fourth or you'll be back on 50 degrees so whenever you're testing the defrost it's very important to make sure you do get that back on 70 degrees or they're going to have problems so anyway guys i just wanted to go over that real quick it's something you might run into see this winter uh gave us a headache for a long time until you know one day i thought you know something's going on here and I mounted a temperature sensor in there where their factory sensor is and sure enough it was kicking out at 50 degrees I thought man that's not right that that coal is not nearly hot enough to be coming out of defrost and sure enough got to looking at those boards and the higher ups at Linux were told about that but it you know like everything else it goes in one ear and out the other they didn't pay attention so they're still being shipped at 50 degrees so when you come across it just go ahead and change that jumper all right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. See you.